and then attack this natural side. They need a breakout game. While Mutar is the main man, the key is for his sidekick to step forward. That's a huge boost for this back line. Boateng and Nacho Heel will need to get their balance right between how far forward they push. McKinley James performing the traditional riff. Nashville craving new momentum. New England trying to rediscover old habits. Soccer time in Tennessee this Saturday. Fullback Dan Lovitz, in swinger. Dangerous. Omar Gonzalez with the header away. Shufflebird to float it back in. Surridge unmarked. The right finish from Sam Surridge on the volley. But the flag is up on the far side. It's not going to count, it seems, to Sam Surridge for what would have been a spectacular first MLS goal. Over. He is clearly offside, though. This lovely clipped in from Schaffelberg. Doesn't he take this well? He's not flashing that across. This will drop for Mutar. Surridge has come down to this left flank now. And Schaffelberg is tearing through the middle. And Mutar on that on the other side for a moment. Space. Leal outside of Mutar to shoot. And saved by Jackson, who will be pleased to get his hands behind one early in the game as well. At the other end, off the bar. And it falls down to McCartney to drill it in. His first goal. Since September 2020, and it's special from Dax McCarty in off the other side of the bar, and Nashville into the lead. They need to get the crowd on their side, need to be on the front foot, and they have been flying through these opening exchanges. Look at that little give and go as Leal, he just hangs this up so nicely for Surridge. Thunders it against the bar, McCarty gets another crack at it, hits it on the underside of the bar. Finds his way to the back of the net, but the work off the ball from Leal, and he puts in a pinpoint, perfect ball to Surridge. Just begging for the big man to go and win it. Just peels off nicely. Look at that movement coming off the back of Kessler. It's wonderful movement, and McCarty makes no mistake. Right into the top bin. It's everything Nashville deserved in this opening. Lovitz, and again it's Schaffelberg who's stolen a yard and used his pace to get to the byline and across it, Surridge is there for a simple first goal in Major League Soccer. A big money to bring in, Lovitz. it's a lovely ball into the area, into the channel from Lovitz to Schaffelberg who just needs to lift it completely on mark. See what Surridge, he just makes way right to the middle of the goal, gets in between Gonzalez and Romney. Nobody picking him up. And that is one of the easier goals he is going to score in his time in Nashville. Completely unmarked. It's criminal defending. It's a lovely ball. Of course, they came into these final two games, going two wins would get them right up in the home field advantage areas and his looked on now running at them and they're stepping off him allowing him to shoot and the keeper got a touch jacob jackson it looks as though it's going inside the post that is this surridge setting up shuffleberg who is just having himself a night at the moment on that nashville left hand side he's sizing up kessler here he goes and it's oh the back catching off of gonzalez referee says no for now that ball came with pace goes into him or oh, they're coming together after the fact shuffleberg's already had a bite at the apple who's by mark anthony k who has made a lovely run into space and crosses in for surridge to clear Nashville opened up for a moment, but now the counter at the other end. Away goes Hani Mutta, he's got Shaq Moore going down the middle, and Alex Wheel, and Surridge and Leal. Nashville with five on three, Mutta sets up Surridge, three nil. And it could already be three points for Nashville tonight. Surridge tonight. Surridge well, starts with Walker Zimmerman. And the clearance out from the defending end, but just look at the way of yellow kids getting down to the other end of the pitch. You got Mawil charging on, you got more overlapping, but it's all about this clinical finish from Surridge. Just to finish off what is a scintillating counter attack. That's the man you want on the ball. Last year's MVP picking up his head, just surveying the options, and he decides, well, let me just serve it into Sam Surridge. Go and get your second of the game.
How calm is that? Doesn't need to burst the net. Just needs to open up. Certainly someone who is a, a quality player and someone we will have to rely upon as we move down the stretch. Spalding into the game in the second half, the 25-year-old from Hartford in this second half. This cross going in and brilliantly finished by Tonkalai. He has an air for the spectacular and he has got New England a foothold back in the game right at the start of the second half. Who's moved more to the left midfield position. Just connects so well with Paul. Just waits for the last second, he delays his run and then he surprises Bauer. Bauer's pointing, he knows that Chonkele is there but doesn't open up his body enough. Chonkele is first to arrive and he connects so well. Roll up their sleeves, pull up their socks and take charge and get you through those times when Mukhtar, which we've rarely seen, has a barren patch. Here's Carlos Hill. New England still trying to forge your way back and this goes all the way through deflected and turned in and Tonkalai's got another one New England have got two and this game is alive with 20 minutes to play at Jodis Park what will be looked at as a mistake from Willis straight at him it takes a slight little deflection but there's still enough distance after the deflection for Willis to see the ball coming at him and Tonkalai gambles Opportunistic, just gets on the other side of Bauer and gets a vital touch as the ball squirms away from Willis. Look how quickly Jonkalai reacts. Gets on the end of it, gets a little toe poke. Sends a message to the fans at home. The clock may well have just run up on New England and it has. And Nashville win this one by three goals to two.